But some cars are really thin where the axle goes through, and then you get really wide after the axle hole. This is only some cars, not everyone will have to do this. And they have to do something different for their axles. What you want to do is take a large wheel, a rear wheel, with an axle in there and put it through your axle hole and see what happens. If the rear wheel hits the back of your car and isn't lined up with the body of your car where your axle hole is drilled, you can't just put the axle through and add an inch. That will not work. My wheel is touching my car right here. I'm going to make a mark right there, a really light mark. I'm going to lay an axle across that part of the car, because that's where the wheel hits, and add an inch to that. Marking. Then I'll cut this and show you what to do next. Now that I have my axle cut, I'm going to put it through a wheel. And then I'm going to uh, put it in the car. Now I can see the distance here between the wheel and the car. We want to fill that distance with a spacer. What I simply do is I put this one of these spacers. These are just nylon spacers. I take one and I'm going to put this end lined up with the edge of this wheel and then I'm going to mark this edge where it touches the car and you want to leave a little space so I went a little shorter. To cut this we're going to use a coping saw. The coping saw is a wood saw you, but it will cut plastic too. This is very similar to cutting your axle only it's plastic with a coping saw. The part that just got cut is pretty rough we can sand that a little bit, put the space for between the wheel, and then that goes in there, and that takes up that space on this side of the car. I'll do the same thing over here, 